My name is Christian Gosland. I was a Calvary Scout and a paratrooper. Um, I served in the 1st of the 509th Airborne Infantry in 2004. We uh, were tasked to deploy two companies overseas to support Operation Iraqi Freedom. I was a rear-facing gunner most of my deployment. Soldiers like Christian have come back from combat with a wide range of injuries. I have a bad back. I've had two uh, knee scopes on my right knee. I've had one on my left. Including traumatic brain injuries and post-traumatic stress disorder. I have um, you know, chronic migraines and then some psychological issues from what I, yeah, what went on over there. Nestled among the farm fields of Northfield, Minnesota, lies a new organization that aims to help veterans struggling with PTSD. Um, it's estimated uh, by the VA that there's as many as 20,000 veterans with PTSD within a 250 mile radius of where we are right now, right? 20,000. Veterans like Christian, who was diagnosed shortly after returning from his deployment in 2005 while still serving in the Army. I was pretty angry, and it was hard doing the job that we were doing. Since January of 2015, Believe It has taken a different approach to helping veterans with PTSD cope with the everyday struggles they face. You know, so our, our overall goal is to provide service dogs to veterans. And, you know, in a three-year time frame, we hope to be generating, uh, graduating 25 teams of dogs and veterans a year. Giving them tools to help navigate everyday tasks that can be stressful and agitating for those with PTSD. Cover. Sit. Like the cover command, which we were working on. So they're out in public, uh, crowded area, you know, that guy kind of behind me is, you know, getting a little close, I don't like it. Put your dog behind you, well, create that physical barrier. For some, just being in public and around people can be a struggle. I avoid people. I don't go out in public. They don't want to be out in public. They don't want to be talk to people. They don't want to, you know, interact a whole lot with the public. They're like, okay, I'm going to the store, I'm going to do my thing, get out, and get in, get out. And if you just kind of have the dog and create that natural barrier, um, I mean, that kind of doesn't really help, help you interact with people and get out and do things. A service dog like Claire can help to alleviate some of the stress that public places bring and can serve as a connection when dealing with people. Mostly, um, like during normal daytime hours, um, which is when I don't like to go out in public uh, with my PTSD and you know it'll be one of those things where yeah it'll she'll act sort of as a little bit of a bridge to help me um, meet people. If someone comes up okay oh, hey, can I pet your dog? No I don't want you to pet my dog. We want him to be like have that option where no you know he's working but you, he's taught to shake, you can have him shake instead, and that kind of helps that interaction. Sit. And it kind of takes you know, it away from you, shake. all you're looking at me, oh, you know, they just want to want to see my dog, they want to shake my dog's hand. They're kind of focused on that. Believe It hopes to bring more awareness to the struggles of those living with PTSD. That PTS is really a kind of a, a hidden um, disease in essence, so that it's um, a disorder that um, you can't really see, and that somebody walking down the street, you just don't know. During their pilot program, they are not taking new clients, but are looking to raise money to be able to expand to provide clinical trial data to prove that dogs are a viable treatment for those with PTSD. Our longer term kind of aspirational goal is to help facilitate the change of policy in this country so that service dogs are an acceptable treatment protocol accepted by the Veterans Administration and government and insurance so they will pay for dogs 
Um, you know, as it, at that level of cost, it takes a lot of money to provide the dogs that the number of veterans in this country need. For one veteran at least, the program is working. Um, when I go down there and I'm having like a not so good day, um, just hanging out with the dogs is nice. So.